right, Winstead. I'm almost... Here we go. All right, everybody, are you ready to add on another wing to this house? One of the wings I haven't done yet. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. Editions. East Wing. Library. The library tower is certain to please those who value literature. With space for all the bookshelves you could desire, you'll be able to enjoy your collection of books in style. Or, perhaps, if it takes your liking, you can take a book to the tower roof and enjoy the view of your steading while you turn a page or two. All right, that should be everything. That's not exactly the largest uh, expansion. I've always found these towers to be awkwardly small, in all honesty. But then again, I have a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of, um, bookshelves to actually use here. So, that's good. <clears throat> what do you say we go ahead and put all the books that I have on those shelves? Oof, I've actually been, <laughs> I've, I've been, I've been collecting books. I, I dragged all the books, um, that I've been collecting from the beginning of the game. Originally, I was putting them in, um... I was stashing them on Lydia, and then I put them in, uh, in Lakeview Manor, and then I dragged them all up here at some point, so... And, you know, so... Let's get this party started. I'm just gonna start spamming the button, and start running into the errors, or, uh, or the limits. This is gonna take a while, so... Oh, alright, there we go. Oh my god, that took... A long time, and I've, I've filled up a lot more shelves than I thought. Got the whole downstairs, and now it's just basically... Whoop, didn't mean to do that. These two, woohoo! Alright. Oh, I feel very accomplished. Uh, before I move on to the next task, I think I'm also going to use this little strong box here. I do this every so often just because it's like, man, I don't need all of this money on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stash a hunk of the stuff. Uh, that's a little bit too much. Or too little. There we go. I have about a thousand gold on me. I don't. I don't really need fifty grand on me. I I stashed. I think something in the ballpark of thirty back in uh, Lakeview ages ago. All right. So um, next up is alchemy. I need to. Uh, I need to make a completely new set of gear for myself because my uh, enchanting skill is maxed out. So I'm going to equip this set of um, mixing gear that I've had on me for a long time. I've been. I've been dragging this stuff around. I really need to just leave it inside of one of my houses. But anyways, with my, uh, with my mixing gear on, we are going to create some Fortify Enchanting potions here. And, uh, there will be further, um, space to improve my enchantments even further, because my alchemy skill isn't maxed out. So, my alchemy skill, if, if I, if I, you know, max out my alchemy skill to create even more powerful enchantments, you know. So. Anyways, um... I forgot that I hadn't covered him yet. Okay, so, Arcane Enchanter. It's time for me to start, um, replacing my gear. So, it's pretty much, uh, a crown, um, a ring, my boots, my gloves. So, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff here, um, you know, blank rings and gloves and necklaces and whatnot, too. So, I can make a whole bunch of new stuff. So... Let's, uh, let's, let's start with the boots, and, uh, to get this whole thing launched off, we'll go ahead and grab my potions. I've gotta pop this potion, and it's gonna take- I gotta make the new item in 30 seconds, uh, as soon as I close the menu. Okay. We'll take the boots. Fortify stamina regen, and fortify two-handed. Use the Grand Soul Gem. We'll rename these boots. Enduring Soul. Alright. On to the next one. Fortify Enchanting. Gloves. Fortify Two-Handed. Fortify Archery. Grand Soul Gem. Vice Grips. Sapphire Ring. Fortify Magic Regen. Resist Magic. Grand Soul Gem. Arcane Guard. Golden Ruby Circlet. Fortify Alteration. Fortify Conjuration. Grand Soul Gem. Mage's Secret. Emerald Ring. Fortify Carry Weight. Fortify Health Regeneration. Black Soul Gem. The Weighted Band. Fine Shoes. Fortify Carry Weight. Fortify Stamina Regen. Black Soul Gem. Weighted Toes. 
Golden Ruby Necklace, Fortify Carry Weight, Fortify Pickpocket, Black Soul Gem, and the Weighted Gem. <coughs> Alright, finally. That's, uh, that should be all of the enchanting that I have to get done. Uh, actually, <laughs> I almost forgot. Um, this is something that I usually make uh, in all of my playthroughs because I don't double down on Conjuration. I've, I've waited a long time to get it done this time. Um, since, I, since I can put two enchants on, though, I think I'll put on uh, a, a, an ability of steel health here, so make it a bit of a vampiric pickaxe. But I make this every time around, and it's specifically to, to create a soul trap uh, pickaxe. And I always call it the uh, Soul Miner here, because uh, you know it's 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 effective. It, like you're always going to carry around a pickaxe. If you don't carry, you're, you're either someone who carries around a pickaxe all the time, or you don't carry a pickaxe around all the time. Um, I always have one on me, so it makes sense for it to have you know Soul Capture on it. And typically, I don't even do two effects to it, and I always call it the Soul Miner as well, <laughs> because it, it's much harder to uh, to discard accidentally. So anyways, um, that should be everything. Uh, I think that it was seven different pieces here, so Arcane Guard. Uh, I've replaced the Charm Necklace, I've got the Enduring Soul. <laughs> uh, the Mage's Secret. Uh, Mashing Hands has been replaced. Uh, this is, uh, still gonna use the Galder's amulet, amulet. The Vice Grips have replaced the Mashing Hands. War Heal has been replaced, and I've got those extra things. So now I just have to dump stuff inside of this chest. And uh, next, I'm going to grab some ebony equipment, and we're going to make our way out to the College of Winterhold and start working in the Atronach Forge. Okay, this should be the last piece. So, we want to put in the dwarven, or uh, the ebony dagger, followed by everything else. It should be my, well, not my absolute last, but it's the last Daedra Heart that I took as well as the last Centurion, Centurion Dynamo, and a Black Soul Gem. We'll pop that baby! Alright, now, I have almost got a full set of, uh, I, I almost have all of the stuff for, um, uh, what you call it? Thing. Something. Bleh. I almost have all of the Daedric equipment. Um, so I, I'm, I'm missing the helmet, and I'm missing, like, uh, a broadsword, and a, uh, a, a war axe and like a bat, yeah, a war axe, a battle axe, and a broadsword, I think, and a Daedric bow. That I'm missing that as well. So, oh boy, well, very, uh, very redundant roundabout experience of using the Atronach Forge. Really awesome results, but very redundant of, tr of of making stuff over and over. And personally, I'm very interested to know what type of like it's it's a wrong way. Uh, I'm looking for Tolf deer right now. I'm very interested to see, like, I've never actually used uh, silver equipment, silver swords and whatnot, because you can get some, you get, you get random enchanted Daedric equipment if you use a silver weapon in place of the ebony equipment. Anyway, Tolf deer? Ah, here we go. Tolf deer. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. I'm always available should you need me, Archmage. That's good to know, Tolf deer. And I'm actually here because... Well, I seem to have hit a snag in my own personal research. I'm hoping that you might be able to help me understand what I'm missing as far as alteration magic goes. Are there any pointers you could give me? You already know all that I know. Well, if that's the case, then it means it's time to start delving into the unknown and experimenting. Is there anything else that I can learn that way? At this very moment? No. However... Well, I've been working on something. An improvement on the Ebony Flesh spell. I've made progress, but then hit a snag. I think perhaps you could help. Really? What's the problem? Are you missing a reagent or something? I need dragon scales, and not just any dragon scales. As I've said, I made some progress using the essence of dragon scales, but they're just not quite potent enough. My knowledge of Skyrim's history is far from complete, but I did some research and discovered two things. First, there are ancient references to dragon heart scales. What little I could learn suggests they may be what I need. Second, there are stories of a dagger called Cavazine's Fang, said to be sharp enough to carve individual scales off a dragon. 
First, you'll need to retrieve the dagger. Then use it to carve a few scales off the dragon. Presumably a deceased one. Doesn't sound like too much of a challenge. I've battled my fair share of dragons already. Larger problem will be tracking down that dagger. I'll see what I can do, Tolv, dear. Hopefully when you see me again, I'll have exactly what you need. That would be wonderful. I'll be sure and have everything ready. This is exciting, isn't it? Indeed it is. Before I go, though, what else can you tell me about the dagger? Anything at all would be helpful. Not going to be easy to track down. Not much, I'm afraid. It was named Cavazine's Fang after the dragon worshipped by this particular sect of the cult. They were said to be quite fond of ritual sacrifices. So fond, in fact, that the High Priest spent a great deal of time sharpening the dagger. That way, it was always ready for the next inevitable victim. Perhaps not the brightest spot in Skyrim's history, eh? Every province and every civilization has its dark spots, Tolv, dear. We like to try to forget what we've done wrong, but it never truly goes away. You need only dig enough to find them. But that's neither here nor there. Thank you for the information. Before I go, though, I feel I need to ask. As the most senior member of the college, and for all intents the acting leader while I'm not here, is there anything that I should be aware of going on around campus or something that we might be tied to? Actually, yes, Archmage. I believe there is. We've become aware of a problem in Winterhold. It would seem there's some sort of disturbance. From what few details we were given, it sounds quite familiar. I suspect that the power released by the Eye of Magnus was not fully contained and has coalesced in this part of Skyrim. I do hope you still have the Staff of Magnus someplace. I suspect you're going to need it. Wonderful. Echoes of the past coming to bite. Thank you for informing me, Tolvdir. I'll look into it. Now, I leave things in your capable hands. I depart the college once more. Mm-hmm. Alright, almost there. Only question is, what else is going to be on the, uh... Is that... Oh, nope, that's not dead. Okay, that's not dead. Snowy Saber Cat. It's actually... Oh, come on. Don't run away from me. Aw, oh, man. I didn't use my freaking soul pickaxe. I guess I... I guess I'm really stuck on the, uh... On, on the soul capture spell. I mean, technically, I think, uh... I should probably unequip the soul capture spell at this point because it's so, uh... Like, it's redundant at this point. There's no point in me casting it. I might as well equip something like an illusion or whatever because I use magic so much more. Um than physical. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking aloud. Anyways, Shrine of Azura. Shrine of Azura. Let's return this thing. Hello? Hey. Hello? Azura Star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here. Take it. Whatever the last owner was doing to it, doesn't function like a soul gem anymore. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. Really? Um... <clears throat> Talk to another danger then. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Azora. Why not just forcibly remove the corruption which is Malin Varen from your artifact? You're a Daedric Lord, after all. And this star is... a part of you. Is it not? 
Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. I put my trust in you, Azora. And hopefully, it's not misplaced. Send me. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. What the? Wow! I'm inside a... I'm inside of a soul gem. All right, then. Malin should be in here somewhere. Along with his defenses. Or his, uh... His, uh... Uh... Minions, I guess? I don't know. I don't, like, it's strange that he's, like... Malin was all about, like, defeating the Deidre, but he's bending them to his will. I don't know if that's a contradiction or not. Look at him. Our friend is, uh, absolutely stuck. Alright, pal. Let's take these guys out. One at a time, no problem. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... Hungry. Why? There's something different about you. This experiment of yours is over, Malin. You will pay for the way that you have desiccated Azura Star, not to mention the countless lives you've made. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Alright, that was really, really awkward, but alright! <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's spoken. I was hoping that he might go down easy, but I mean, you, you can only expect too much. Damn it! Stop with your... You know what, fine. I'll use Soul Miner on you. I should be using this thing anyway. You idiots! Come here! I'm very, very disappointed that these guys aren't falling over in one single hit with my new enchanted equipment, but... Uh, there's only so much you can do. Not that they hold together for long, anyway. There we go. All right, Malin, where are you? I'm coming for you. Obviously, the game glitched out on me. He wasn't supposed to talk to me too uh, that soon. Down you go. No, not like this. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm kind of still alive inside of this gem here. I, I, obviously, it wasn't supposed to be designed this way. Reorganizing. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Azora, I have done your bidding. But I dislike Daedra looking into my future, telling me my fate, or predicting my path. Oblivion has been watching you since the day you were conceived, mortal. Do not think that your life has been served by your will alone. Go now! I have seen the threads of your fate in the twilight, and you still have much to accomplish. Hey. While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Arania, I seek danger in my life. You're a priestess. What use would you be to me? I was a sorceress of no small skill before I came into Azura's faith. Afterwards, her magic sustained me. I could easily provide my spells to your cause.
protect you from harm, defeat your enemies. And after so much servitude, Azura truly no longer gives you visions. No, she said my part was over, that my fate had moved beyond the twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties, but for the first time I feel alone. I appreciate the offer, Arania, but I already have a traveling companion. Maybe we'll meet again in adventure then. But for now, I hope that you can find your own path. Until next time, Guardian. Best wishes. All right, I'm, I'm just running down the list of all the Daedric Lords. Now I think it's about time that I head south. I've been avoiding the main quest for long enough, and it's, uh, it's time that I head for Riften. It's going to be a long trek there, though. Quite a ways away from it. It'll be interesting to finally go to the Rift. Change of scenery.